everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is Madden 17 on EA Sports. Today's game features two safeties who have been key contributors to very successful teams. It's Earl Thomas III going up against Devin McCourty. So let's get you up to Foxborough as we check in with our commentators, Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. Larry, we are about an hour's drive southwest of downtown Boston in the area known as Patriot Place, Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. Coming up is a rematch of that memorable Super Bowl 49 between the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots. And hi again, everybody. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at our matchup here. You've got to believe that this is a game that might be won in the trenches. Oh, without question. This is big person on big person. Big unit against big unit. Meet on me. Oh, you got it all. Pick your cliche. But we know this. The ground's going to shake. Things are going to rumble. And they're going to have an impact on today's game. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here come the New England Patriots and setting into your view on your set, Tom Brady. He's thrown 12 touchdowns, no interceptions since returning this year, and white hot is New England 7-1. And, and when you think about Brady and what he's done this season, I come up with one term for him, locked in. I mean, right now, he is in sync with his receivers. His offensive line is protecting him, and he is as good as he has been as a player since he entered the league. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. And we roll now on the offensive starters, and everybody always loves to talk about Gronk. And wouldn't a lot of teams love to redraft right now? This guy went in the second round. Yet no matter what, you've got a game plan for him when you're opposing him. Now a first carry for LeGarrette Blunt. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. The Seahawks, here's their defensive lineup. Michael Bennett is one of the best pass rushing defensive linemen in the game. Normally plays defensive end, but when they go to those nickel packages and he works inside, look out offensive guards, you've got a problem. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Throwing his Brady on third down. And the third down pass falls incomplete. He was looking for Julian Edelman that time. And it's fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Now the four-year man out of Louisiana Tech. That's Ryan Allen on to kick this one away. Back deep for the Seahawks, the all-pro returner from 2015, Tyler Lockett. Returnable for Lockett. So quick on the spin. Uh, he's spinning, man. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They'll be led out by a man who's been a pro bowler in three of his first four NFL seasons. From Wisconsin, it's Russell Wilson. Coming out of college, he graded out A-plus in every category you want in a quarterback, except height. And that's what moved him to a third-round pick. And we all found out later that was a mistake. He should have been a first-round guy. Now, in 2015, he showed his ability to actually lead a team to victories by being able to throw the football, not just rely on the running game. And this offense often hinges on one of the best tight ends in the league, and that's Jimmy Graham. I think he made up for lost time when he got to the NFL because in college, he was mainly a basketball player, a defender who couldn't score. Now he's flipped it around in the NFL. Every time he touches the ball, he's a threat to score. Second and ten now, Wilson. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. A quick look here at the Patriot defense. It seems like whenever people talk about Chris Long, the number one thing they discuss is his motor and how relentless he is. Let's not forget, he's also a superior athlete. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. The intended target, Doug Baldwin. Third down here. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football, complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. Well, here we go now. An extra defensive back in there on third and ten. And he's got Lockett. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. He went full scale, loose, flexible, finding a way to catch the ball in some traffic for a key first down. Yeah, really a nice job of adjusting to the ball in the air. Not the most accurate of throws, but able to adjust and make the grab. So the offense has it first and ten. Throwing down, Wilson on first down. This will be caught at the two. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Paul Richardson, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Now to send this one away following the score. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five yards with a new rule as he's taken down right at the 20 yard line. The Patriots' offense now, they work their way back onto the field, and they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like in the start of a game with the emotion. Guys a little bit I jumpy. You do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out with that first one. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. Cliff Averill in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him. On 
on second down. Here's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be third down. The coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? A nickel look by Seattle on third down. Yep, five defensive backs now. Here's Brady. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And down he'll go at the 25. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Now it's Lockett. He juked him. A good return there, 17 yards. And possession will switch, hands first and 10. So let's glance at a player's spotlight now with Russell Wilson. He's had one of those games that any quarterback loves, not only being able to complete some passes, but some deep passes. And it's pretty to watch. I mean, it's an absolute joy to see, but let's face it. we got to give a little bit of credit where it's deserved, right? Well, the protection's been great. Well, that's where you're been, going. The protection's been phenomenal, but how about how it's been spotlighted, right? Our producer, Christian McLeod, our director, Kyle Burt, the rest of the crew, what they put together with these images and pictures, if you're an offensive lineman, that's what you're taking with you to contract time. <laughs> They're going to have a lot to take to contract time if this continues. Tyler Lockett was the target there. That'll bring up second down. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure can get to any quarterback. Now he's obviously a great franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. There's Wilson to throw. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And they will set up shop at their own 46-yard line. And now out come the Patriots. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look, at, look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Fresh set of downs here. On first and ten, here's Brady. And he's got Edelman for the first time. That's complete. Give him 11 on the game there. And it gives the Pats a first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert him to being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, oh boy, it's been good. Brady gives now to Blunt. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Boy, that's a lot of sirloin steak to be taken down for no gain, partner. <laughs> Are you trying to suggest that he is a huge man? He is Not a Not just a big, big man, big, a huge big, man. Big, big boy. Well, how about the credit then for the defense to be able to chop that big tree and put him on the ground? I know back when you played, it took four of you to take a guy like that down, right? Well, that's for sure. And you know what, know what else? I didn't want to challenge him at dinner either. <laughs> They'll run again with Blunt. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup, and they're going to face a third down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. They go play action for White. Now it's Brady. 
and he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree. One thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. So nothing there that time, and maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't, and you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> Again, here's Blunt. He can't bring him down. The weight room does work. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Gronkowski, slot left. So one quarter in the books. It's a rematch of Super Bowl 49. 7 nothing is our score. And we'll return to Foxborough after this. This presentation of the NFL on EA Sports is brought to you by Snickers. You're off your game when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. From the gun, it's Brady. He hits right, complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. James White from 10 yards out. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. So on third and medium, they dial up the pass, and it works to hit the end zone. And it's really not a surprise to me. That's a throwing down in the NFL because of how tough it is to run the football. But what offenses like to do is still show run formations to make them respect it and throw out of those. In this case, they took a nice shot at the end zone and made it pay off. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. This is fielded at the goal line. A beautiful fake. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The D for the Pats. The Patriots heading back onto the field now. Now the interception for them the last time, and that turned into six points. You think during their break they reminded the offense that, hey, you have to get a little bit, right? You know, they want to see if they can do it again for them. They're putting together an entire team game by how they're playing on defense. So the interception, the last drive, what will happen here? An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. First and ten, it's Wilson. To the grab made by Doug Baldwin. And he's brought down. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. I don't care how many times you tell the story, it never loses its luster for me. Doug Baldwin, undrafted, out of Stanford, and plays like a number one receiver should in the NFL. I don't care how you cover him. I don't care that his size isn't great. He's the one that typically comes up with the football. Absolutely. His roots go all the way back to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where he's from right on the water near Pensacola. And then, of course, to Stanford. And, boy, he's been good. Now it's Wilson. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. They go play fake to Michael. Now Wilson. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. 
Well, he just threw an interception last drive. Nearly another pick. If things aren't very even right now, are they? It's a little bit sloppy out there, isn't it? It's kind of just for driving on those paved roads and those country roads that have those potholes in them, isn't it? So that's the way this game's going right now. A lot of bouncy bounce to it. You spent some time on some Tennessee country roads. I certainly have. Plenty of family back there. God love them. So on fourth down, here's the Canadian-born punter, John Ryan, to kick it away for Seattle. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. It's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. Well, Charles, I know last night at the hotel we were going over injuries around the league and then looking at the quote-unquote next man up and who's really stepped in to fill some big shoes this year. Who'd you have down? Well, Cleveland, it hasn't paid off for them yet. The six different guys have thrown passes for them so far. They've got to settle on a starter that they really like. How about in Dallas? I think that's the ultimate one right there. Dak Prescott stepping in for Tony Robo. Kansas City's had a carousel of running backs with the injury to Jamal Charles. And one more in Denver. Demar Marcus Ware returned in week nine, but when he was out, who stepped up? Shane Ray, their first-round draft pick in 2015. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. And credit the tackle to Cliff Avril. Third down now following the run. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. The Seahawks offense now, they get set to go back to work. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a, a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. And that one goes in. Complete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. The name of the game is always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback, and that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. Pulled in at the 24. 12 yards on the return that time. And the Patriots take over. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. On play action, it's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's look at it. He'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Ah, uh, yes, Brady to Gronk. You think these two are in sync? Without a doubt. And look, they both understand what they can do for each other. Gronk knows if he gets open, the ball's going to be there. And Tom Brady knows what a great security blanket Gronk is. When all else fails, you find big 87. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. 
Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice game right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. And he finds Danny Amador. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. Back to Foxborough after this. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Brady now on first down. Screen pass to Blood. And he's brought down. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. And the defense with their backs against the wall a little bit here as the offense is in the red zone. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. And here comes play number six on this drive. Brandon, that play ended so fast as almost as if the quarterback handed it to the runner and the tackler was there right away for a loss of yardage. Here's Brady, and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver, and it's third and five. And let's see six defensive backs out there. They're in the dime here on third and goal. Brady now to throw. And this is caught. It's Edelman. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Julian Edelman from four yards out. And the Pats able to cash in for six. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They're the fun from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general... Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. Well, throw on first down with Wilson. It's caught. Lock it. And he's brought down after a good game. 23 yards on the play. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Wilson on first down. It's complete to lock it. And he's brought down after a good game. 22 yards on the pick up there. And the Seahawks are going to have a first down. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. So second and ten here. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. Into a double team and it's intercepted. And it's the linebacker, Shane McClellan, with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Three yards to go here on second down. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. 
So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we send you down to Orlando where we check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Larry. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Patriots right now are doing a good job protecting their house. The Seahawks know it's always hard to come in and get a win on the road, but they're not out of this one yet. All right, let's get it going. Here's the first half highlights. Third down from the 48. Pockets wide open, able to make the grab. And that connection will lead to a gain of 24 yards. Seahawks later on the drive. Richardson's able to get open here, and he's going to go 24 yards for the score. They strike first in the half. Seahawks have it midway through one. Under pressure here, the ball is picked off. It's McCourney who's in the right spot to pick off the pass. Offense out now following the INT. Fights the target on the quick pass, and he cap off the nine play drive with a TD. We're brand new at seven. Patriots have the football midway through the second. Catch is made after a quick pass, and he won't be brought down until he makes it to the three-yard line. Patriots now later on the drive. Edelman the catch over the middle, and after the short pass, he'll score. Patriots up by a touchdown. Now to late in the second. The pass ends up being picked off. McClellan is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drive. So that's it for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to Gillette Stadium for the start of the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Tyler Lockett now with a return. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. On first down. Looking left side and it's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. They get 25 yards out of that one. And it'll give the Seahawks a first down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Wilson. On the left side, it's complete. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. It's a gain of 24 that time. And the Seahawks are going to have a first down. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And he's caught right at the 10-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. He had time, was able to survey the field and find a soft spot in that zone coverage. And that's where it gets difficult for a defender, Brandon. You go to your spots on the field that you have to cover, and when the offense finds an area that you're not in, that's where they throw the football. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. Now the fourth-year man from Texas A&M, Kristen Michael. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. And quickly, they get to the line. On second down, Wilson. That is caught. He'll wind up getting 11 on that one. And that'll make it third and goal. Now they'll run it on the toss. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. He lost two and it brings up four. Nice job holding him out of the end zone on third down, but give a big assist to the crowd. They've been with him the entire game and have spurred them on. Here in the second half, they've really helped elevate their play. And Hauschka's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend-but-don't-break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tight, tight. 
They'll begin here with Blunt. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. This guy carrying the ball, your eyes are going to direct your feet, and you're hoping they carry you to the open spaces. But it's awfully difficult at times because you have so many things you have to look out for. Where's the line blocking? Where's the traffic coming from? Tough to find open spots. And he'll take this one up close to the 25-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and they've got it back to third and ten. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. And the Seahawk defense gets to him and they bring him down. A ton of Rubin in there to get him for a loss of nine, and that'll lead to fourth down. I remember when I was a kid and all I wanted was a nickel so I could get that soda down at the fountain. And guess what? The nickel came into play well. Five defensive backs, they covered well, allowed for the sacks. Sodas were a nickel when you were a kid? No, I just needed the extra nickel oh. so, I could pay the, so I could pay the proper okay. price. Okay, how much were they? A dime? <laughs> what were they? Uh, 15 cents. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. That's taken on the 25. Oh, he slipped right by him. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The New England defense gearing up to take the field. And last time out, they gave up the chip shot field goal, but obviously it could have been worse than that. I think they felt pretty good about only giving up three. No doubt about it. Anytime an offense gets into the red zone, the thinking naturally for the defense is, okay, three points. We're going to give up three here. Let's make it no more than that. They met their goal. On the other side, though, the offense, they weren't very happy. No, because there's an opportunity. Once you get to the red zone, you're not thinking about kicking a field goal. You're thinking about how do you get into the end zone. And when you don't, you walk off the field feeling a little bit of failure on that drive. Yeah, who will have the better feeling at the end of this drive? Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Here's Wilson. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence. And he's achieved that in this performance. Oh, he had six points in his hands there. Couldn't hang on. Second down. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big-time drop. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Doug Baldwin, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are going to retake the lead. And that touchdown drive happened very, very quickly. You knew that they had the quick strike ability. They showed it. And for a defense that understands that, it still drives them crazy when it actually happens to them. Fast and furious, there came the points. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. Now to send this one away following the score. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try to get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked go to so someone well. else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down. It'll go as a gain of 12, and it'll give the Patriots a first down. So much for him being bottled up throughout the day. Finally finds a way to break through and get a really nice gain. 
the defense had felt great about what they had going. Now they've got to turn their attention to getting it back in that direction. Can they bottle them up again? Because I'd say after that run, confidence is pretty high for him. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. Over the middle, Julian Edelman. It's complete. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong-armed guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Back now in Foxborough. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. They'll run it now out of the gun. Look, Garrett Blood, the 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. Well, Garrett Blunt, 50 yards. And the Patriots have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Block at the return. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up down the numbers. There he goes. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast. Bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. down with Wilson and his throw is incomplete it's always tough for the guys throwing the football when they think they've got a completion and the ball's almost there and then someone sneaks a hand or two in and bats it away second and ten it's Wilson again oh there's that man again it's complete and a nice gain of 21 yards and now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now Wilson on first down. And that'll be incomplete. Second and ten now, Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. And he's brought down. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. This will be caught at the two. And he's brought down. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. So an excellent throw and an excellent catch there. Zone coverage, which means you just have to find the open areas in between defenders. That's exactly what happened on that play. On the carry, Michael. And he will take this one in for the Seattle touchdown. Kristen Michael taking it in from a yard out. And the Seahawks have taken the lead here in the fourth. And how about that giving us our fifth lead change of the game? It's been back and forth. No doubt about it. And right now, they're ahead. 
but they can't relax at all because if we've had five lead changes, I've got a betting on a six. Yeah, we might see a six. And he'll bang that one through. Houshka now to send this one away following the score. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Back out for another drive comes LeGarrette Blunt. After some early struggles running the ball, they've really picked it up. Early it just seemed like there were no holes there. Now all of a sudden, the holes seem to be there. I don't know if that's just my imagination. And give them credit that they kept their confidence because sometimes when you get stuffed big in the running game early, especially for an entire half, it really makes you retreat a little bit, but not this group. They always have the confidence that they just get their assignments down, they get in sync with their runners, and off they went. And that right there will set them back a bit on the offensive holding penalty. And you know who you want to pressure after a penalty like that? The guy who just committed the foul. You want to see if he's going to keep his head down or if he's going to get his head right back into the game. I'd send a blitz at him right away and see if he holds up. Finding time. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Defensively, the tackle by Cam Chancellor. Well, I think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone. But these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because you have the ball and they don't. And often the physicality sets the tempo for the game. Back near his goal line. Here's Brady. He's got time. And he is not going to get away. The rush was too strong. And this is going to wind up a safety. Speed comes off the edge there, Charles, from the end. And he blindsides him. And the guy who's supposed to protect the quarterback, maybe the highest paid guy on the offensive line, the left tackle, hard to deal with there. Defensive end had too much speed and got to him. Now the free kick comes after the safety from the 20 as they bring the punter on to try and get some hang time here. This will be taken at the 10. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. To throw is Wilson. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they missed a golden opportunity. That's complete to lock it. And a nice gain of 21 yards. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. Throwing is Wilson. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. 
He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well in attacking the football. Again on second and ten, it's Wilson. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. And he's got Lockett. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Time for a break. We'll come back for the electrifying conclusion after this. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And incomplete. He dropped it in the end zone. First, let's see what second down has in store. Wilson wants to throw it. Looking for someone to throw to. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Well, it would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. The boy juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down. Slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. Brady now on first down. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make this a second down. And right now, defensively, you love that, don't you? I mean, you'll give them that play. And they'll take it every single time. I mean, this is almost like nickeling and diming it downfield, and too much time's going to run off the clock. Six yards here to go for the offense on second down. Gronkowski, slot left. On second down, here's Brady. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Danny Amendola, the man he was trying to get it to. And it's third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. Throwing is Brady on third down. And he's got an open man. It's Gronkowski. A nice pick up there. Ten yards, and it'll move the sticks. And now they're in the hurry up. Throwing on first down is Brady. Dumps it off to Lewis. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A gain of four on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Now Brady again. 
And he's just going to get rid of this thing to no one here. He throws it away, and now it's third. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Four down, four down. Wait, 20. Again, it's Brady. He hits White, complete. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. And they're going to speed things up here. On first and 10, here's Brady. Right side, that's complete to Gronkowski. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll make it second down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. Caught left side, Benham. And down inside the 15 he goes. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Into the red zone, it's Brady. And caught. This is Bennett, the tight end. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. By 20! By 20! Again, they'll throw with Brady. He's got time in the pocket. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. Throwing his Brady on third down. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. And that was a nice play. He knocked it away, but obviously you want the interception in this situation. You want to take away any chance and they have any decision to make on fourth down. But things happen so quickly in the end zone, in this compressed area of the field, that you're just happy to knock it away and not allow a touchdown. Now Brady. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. down to none? Yes, exactly right. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Hey, we gotta get this stop here. Oh, Wilson gonna throw. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. Second and ten now. Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. And he's brought down. And play has stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. the end of this one and it looks to probably be the final play on first and ten it's Wilson it's caught Lockett and he's brought down after a good game the Charles Foxborough never ever under any circumstance an easy place to win but kudos hats off they got it done yeah, and our, our guy Marvin our statistician he slid us the note 91 and 16 here at home in the Tom Brady era. That's pretty impressive. That's very impressive. Hard to beat this team. They're not only well coached, not only are they talented, this crowd loves getting behind them.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Foxborough, good night, everybody.